Hi guys, welcome back to the shop. Uh, today's project is we're going to make this little rack for holding on to the uh, my pen blanks and for keeping my pen kits organised. Now in the past they lived in this cabinet underneath here and it was fine, you know, they were out of the way and they were out, you know, but the problem is they were out of sight and out of mind. Sometimes I'd forget what I had and I ended up with multiples of the same stuff. Um, so I'm hoping that by having the rack out in the open here and having everything to hand, that's going to help me um, keep on top of my stocks and also to give me a bit more creativity by uh, encouraging me to do a little bit more turning. Okay, so this is the, uh, the wood that I've selected. Uh, two pieces of pine. This one's been left over from the towel rack project. This bit's a bit of scrap that I've had lying around for a while. Um, it's got a couple of holes in but that's no biggie, we're not bothered about that, it is a shop project at the end of the day. I'm going to get the two sides from this one piece of pine and we're going to get the two shelves from this piece. I'm going to start the project by running this through the saw, we're going to rip cut that down to 5 and one eighths or 13 centimetres and then we're going to rip these down to 12 inches and we're also going to put a 10 degrees bevel on these because I want the shelf to sit at a 10, degree, uh, 10 degrees angle and I want the, the sides to be square with the boards so we'll, we'll do that one. So we'll start off with this board anyway. Okay, so we've got the sides sorted and we've got the shelves cut, we've got those 10 degree bevels on each side. Uh, so for the construction of this, pocket holes, it's a shop project, it's not to be pretty. Uh, but I'm going to put the pocket holes on the bottom of the uh, of the shelves, just so no one can see them anyway. And then we will uh, profile the front, uh, the side, sorry, and then we'll drill some holes in that as well, because we're going to put some dowels through the back to stop the blanks from sliding off the back of the shelf. So we'll do the, uh, the drill in there. Okay, so I'm set now to put my shelf in place. Now, I don't have any proper clamps to hold this in place while I put the pocket hole screws in, so I'm going to use a little bit of CA glue just to hold it in place. What I've done now is also is I've set my angle finder here to 10 degrees, and I've made sure that it's square using my set square, and I've clamped that into place. And I can use this edge now as a guide to, uh, to butt that up against, slide that over, let the glue set, and then I can drive the screws down.
Have a good job. Okay, so the dowels are in and the, the, uh, the stand is coming along really well, I'm quite pleased with it. Uh, considering there was no plans for this, this was all sorts of ad hoc and only in my head. Um, and it's just occurred to me that once it was done, um, that a nice little box underneath the shelf would be quite useful. Keeping pen bushings and spare tubes and things like that in. At the moment they're in this cabinet, um, the cabinet is rubbish and it's falling apart. So it'd be nice to have everything in sort of one place. Um, so what we're going to do now is just going to cut a strip of wood out for the base and then we're going to cut another piece out that's going to go here and that'll just frame that and then with the rest of this quarter inch, what is it, quarter inch uh, ply we'll make uh, a little box just to go underneath so we'll do that now.
Okay, thanks very much for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed the video for that one. Um, the rack has turned out really well. I'm quite pleased with that one. Uh, originally, it was just going to be two shelves with the um, with the dowels going across. I never thought about putting a box underneath. That happened halfway through the project. Um, and I'm sorry I didn't film the cutting of the pieces for that one, but it's just basically for you know I made a little box. There's nothing special about it. I had a little piece of wood left over as well from a previous door handle I made and I just managed to utilise that there was still a little bit left on the scrap um, but apart from that I'm really pleased with it you know everything's now out in the open I can see where everything is I won't be ordering the same stuff again and uh, hopefully it'll encourage me to do a little bit more pen turning with the stocks that I've got instead of going out and buying new stuff every time um, also helps me keep all my um, all the kits organised so um, I know what I've got and uh, I've got everything nice to hand uh, anyway guys i hope you enjoyed it i will catch you guys in the next one don't forget to hit that subscribe button and that notification bell for next time i do upload a video and i'll catch you guys on the next one thanks very much for watching take care see you later bye hey guys thanks very much for watching uh, i hope you enjoyed the video for that one uh, box has turned out really well like the box it's a rack oh, yeah, yeah, yeah.